if we have a high risk patient, the patient that uh, we finish the Nordic therapy and uh, we're going to send the patient home without the MRD, uh, that's what our urea standard practice. But in the future, we measure MRD and this high risk patient, although they received the intensive therapy, happen to be MRD positive. We're not going to send the patient to home because he still have a tumor to be killed. So we're going to use a different methodology for such as ibrutinib, such as acalabrutinib, such as venetoclast, such as remomid or lenalonamide, or such as brutalism, to kill the MRD. So the patient's failure-free survival or the patient over survival or the patient remission rate will be prolonged. So MRD is like the radar, is guide us, can guide our therapy. So MRD should be used after finishing any therapy, especially when the patient achieved complete remission, should be universally used. MRD after induction therapy so far could not change the therapy for mantle cell lymphoma or for any lymphoma. Induction therapy is usually followed by chemotherapy consolidation. So far, we cannot use MRD to change that therapy. And, but uh, MRD is more useful after uh, finishing all the therapies. How do we take advantage of MRD to guide our maintenance therapy? Without MRD, without a good radar screen, we are blinded. We threw the maintenance therapy, expensive antibody therapies, expensive biological therapies to everybody. Not only is it a waste of money, but also it costs a lot of side effects and destroys the quality of life. But if we declare the MRD is negative, we don't need to use maintenance therapy. We only need to apply the therapies when the MRD becomes positive in the future. Maybe they will never become positive. Maybe they will become positive for after 10 years. Then you are using maintenance therapy. That's a waste of time, in my opinion. So MRD should guide the maintenance therapy, should guide the initiation, the duration of therapy, and re-initiation of maintenance therapy. MRD, that's why MRD is so exciting. That's why it's in the future, because it will guide our therapy so we do not waste too much drugs that we don't have to give to the patients and saving their quality of life and saving some money as well.